What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 community AI only battle. There is loads of things going on. It's crazy how much is going on. Firstly, before we just get too much into the video, I have got a bit of a sore throat, so if I start like being a bit quieter towards the end of the video for certain periods, you probably might it might be me out just grabbing a sip of a drink or something. But yeah, there's plenty of stuff going on. We saw some wars break out. The big one there, Texas versus the Shoshone, the Iroquois are here as well. North America shaping up pretty interestingly at the moment. We'll see how this pans out. And the Aztecs have now joined that conflict. I have no idea why they've done that. If anything, the Aztecs probably should have attacked Texas while they were preoccupied with the Shoshone. I mean, the Mayans aren't that bad. And the Mayans do have another settler. I don't know where they're planning to send it, but they do have one. Nigeria pieced out with... Peaced out with Byzantium. I mean, that doesn't matter all too much. Nigeria lost a city, of course, just recently to Mali. Okay, Persia via Syria is kind of more important, but again, that's going to be difficult for Persia to have too much of an impact. And uh, Vietnam via Syria, that's a bit of a weird one. But, oh wow, Hanoi is at 20 population. That is pretty... Oh no, okay, the Samoan capital is at 22 right now. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a lot. I'm sorry. Shaka, you're not going to do anything? I'm waiting for you just to, you know, use all these impies you have. Okay, Samoa now joining. Seems to be a lot of these, just a few civs seem to be getting declared on by a lot of people. Assyria being one of them. Uh, there was another one in Africa. Ethiopia, I think. No, was it? I think it was Ethiopia. There was a point when a lot of people had declared war on Ethiopia. But I think it was somebody else who I'm actually thinking of. But Ethiopia fits too. Korea, piecing out with Byzantium. That's a weird one. Oh no, it was the Soviet Union. I think a lot of people declared war on them. But obviously they weren't really n nearby. So it didn't really matter. Attila's here and he's built up one heck of an army. But um, he's not using it just yet. Mongolia is preoccupied with Qing, so they're not really doing much at the moment. So yeah, Tiller is in a good spot here. Will Byzantium be the fawn in his side, though? That is the big question. Let's see how Texas is doing. I feel like this could be the next city to fall. The Huns v Persia. That is interesting. Yeah, the Huns could have some good luck here. Belgium v Assyria. Not, not so big, that one. Uh, the Papal States v Assyria. There's so many peace deals. Papal States v Assyria. Again, doesn't really matter. Mongolia, Assyria, and India, Assyria. I mean, India is kind of important, but not at this tech level. Um, Assyria pieced out with Babylon, so they're obviously a bit scared right now. They took the city of Babylon, so, you know, they've screwed Babylon completely. Uh, Byzantium is still trying to take Thebes off Ethiopia. But there was two peace deals in East Asia. China piecing out with Korea. Nothing happened there. And China pieced out with Japan. Now, it looks like Vietnam is about to kill China in their entirety. So let's just see here. Shanghai is under... Siege, a little bit less progress, but yeah, Beijing is in the yellow, not looking good, there's enough, there's a trebuchet here, some composite bowmen, I think we might see Vietnam do this here, Austria piecing out with Assyria, <laughs> everyone's declaring war on Assyria and there's just Austria, like, no, we don't need to do that, Belgium is looking kind of good, it's, the problem is they are bordering a lot of people, that could be their sort of downfall, the Celts are doing okay, I know a lot of people are rooting for the Celts, I think Prussia, though, were the people that were being rooted for the most. I think they got the most, like, people saying, you know, I, I vote Prussia, which is crazy because they died first. And <laughs> I think it was them. There is a few other, there's a few, like, there's probably, like, 20 civs that weren't even picked by people. It is crazy. The Vandals declared war on Austria. I mean, that's fine. Just checking if there's anything going on over here. There's so much going on. There's wars in East Asia. North Africa here with Byzantium attacking Ethiopia. The Huns going for Persia, that's going to see things start to happen here. More importantly, Beijing is probably the big thing right now, but there's also the Shoshone in North America, and they're fighting Polynesia, and they're not having the best time of that. But yeah, this is sort of going to be interesting. Texas going to get the first sort of blows in before the Iroquois arrive to help out. Problem for Shoshone, yeah, I think they should just leave that city for Polynesia to come and take it away from them. Zulu v Austria, because that is the most useful war we've ever seen. Uh, what is Assyria? Wait, sorry, what, what am I doing? The Huns v Assyria. Something just took my eye away from the screen. So that's why I blanked on that one for a second. Because I have my phone as a timer, so I know that how long into the video I am. And I got a message, so it took my eye as I was trying to read it. And it was the worst possible time for that. But the Huns are making good progress here. I assume Beijing... This is the tur no uh, Vietnam don't have any melee units. That that is tragic. Polynesia, how are you getting on here? You are you are probably going to take this. It's in the yellow. 
siege yet to begin over here. Oh, look at this. The Mayans settled down here. I don't know where this is, but there. And the Huns have taken this city, Pasagadai, the northern Persian city. Well, that is game over for you, Persia. I don't think they'll be able to take that back either because the Huns are going to reinforce. And there we see Shanghai did fall to Vietnam, apparently. Uh, I don't know with what unit because they didn't have any melee units, which makes that kind of hard to believe. And it also hasn't changed. I'm just looking at it and it has not fallen to China. So I'm not really... It said right there, it's fallen to Vietnam. But clearly, that is not the case. Australia has now made sure Samoa don't steal any of their land. Samoa, though, could end up getting New Zealand first. There's plenty of stuff going on out here in the Pacific. With Samoa, Polynesia already here. Japan as well, we're going to play a big part. So I can hear my computer, it's been very noisy. Oh, okay, I think it was Shanghai that fell, not Beijing. That was my, my mistake. Um, yeah, they need to get their swordsmen over there. Babylon has pieced out with the Soviet Union, who now seem to have lost all of their army. Oh no, it's, how the heck did they get it? What are you doing? What on earth are you doing, Stalin? That is a terrible idea. Mongolia and Qing are now coming over this way. They've put aside their differences, and it looks like they're going to fight on the same side against the Huns, probably. Austria is still okay here in Central Europe. Doing pretty well. Japan, have you yet to send a settler anywhere else? Yep, you still haven't done anything. Okay, I can't believe China. China did very well to peace out with Korea and Japan. Not good for Japan or Korea, because obviously they could have slipped a trireme or whatever in here and taken Beijing. But now it's going to fall to Vietnam, which is kind of a terrifying prospect all of a sudden. The Huns declaring war on Babylon. That doesn't really matter. Byzantium have failed again. Is this Rhodesia? What the heck is Rhodesia doing over here? Are they going to fight the Soviet Union in the Mediterranean? Because that would be weird. Japan has declared war on Austria. Just another weird war to add it to the mix. And the Persians actually did take their city back. I'm not sure for how long they're going to hold on to it, but they've got it. There's people entering the Renaissance era. For anyone wondering sort of whereabouts we're at in the game. We're obviously about 40 turns away from the next. Look at the info addicts. So still a while away. The Moors... I think the Moors are going to be... Like the oh okay well Mayans that was a terrible idea did you not remember that you were at war with Texas oh my goodness okay 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 lots is going on uh, Chichen Itza of the Mayans has fallen to Texas the Hunnic Persian the Huns took this again more importantly Soviet Union military is next to Vienna to be fair but they're not attacking Vienna I don't know what they're doing but more importantly the former Prussian capital has fallen to Austria if they can hold on to this. We can have a strong Austria. Um, and China is dead. Beijing just fell. There's so much going on. There we go. Beijing has fallen. Vietnam are definitely going to be a power in this game. There's no denying that now. Because Gandhi won't be able to stand up to them if he doesn't get his act together. And the other East Asians, Korea and Japan will be okay. They'll be able to hold their own. But Qing and Mongolia are far too preoccupied with some other rubbish. Babylon's pieced out with the Zulu. India, Belgium and the Moors have all joined a war against Babylon. Not really sure why. India may actually be able to grab this city here towards Dubai and the United Arab Emirates. That's just like this region here. Uh, Timoak, Pocatello. Okay, yep, Polynesia has now grabbed basically the whole of the US part of the West Coast. I think maybe a bit more. I don't know where the divide is. It's around here somewhere. So um, Shoshone have got one more Pacific coastal city and Polynesia now have three cities in North America, plus obviously their two Hawaiian islands. So they're doing okay, and if they can just, I don't know, they're pretty safe here. Like that, It was easier for them to take this than it's going to be for the Shoshone to take it back. I don't really know how to word that, but they're in a better position to defend this city than the Shoshone are. Uh, this former Sioux capital here is being fought for, but it's a slow battle. Not too much going on just yet. How is South America doing? I haven't even looked at it this video. There's a lot of fighting going on, but no cities dying, basically. I don't know who's at war with who, I can't remember to be honest, but I see a lot of units taking some damage. That sucked for the Mayans, and that's almost a gift, because Texas, for some reason, weren't settling, and that's obviously why the Aztecs are now here. But yeah, for Texas, maybe that's a gift that they needed. Might encourage them to get a little bit more stuff done. The Iroquois pieced out with the Shoshone, which means it's just on Texas now to get this done. Just down to Texas. The 
Papal States, they do still have this, right? They do still have this city. I don't know how long they're going to hold on to it for. I imagine Austria and Belgium will set their sights on it eventually. Once, But Austria seems... Yeah, I mean, they've fought off the Soviets, who are still doing some weird stuff over here. This is their fault. They fully deserve to lose, because they had the army to defend this. And now they're down to two cities. And once the Huns are finished with Persia, and probably Mongolia and Qing as well, then, um... Also, I assume Mongolia and Qing both declared war on the Huns in the past, because if we see them, like, declare war now, that that would be suspicious. Like, the AI, can they... What facilitates their ability to do that, except, I guess, to give us ten turns to prepare. But, I mean, they might be at war already. There's just such a big list, I didn't really want to look at it. But, but I'm going to anyway, because... Well, how do I get that list? There's the list... What list am I looking for? That is... <laughs> The big question. It is... what well, I was on the right one. I just didn't click the right thing. Um, yeah, global politics, it's all a mess. Everyone's at war with everybody. Uh, the Hun I'm looking for the Huns. They are probably the easiest one. At war with Persia, Babylon, and Assyria. You've denounced almost everybody. Yeah, so they're not at war with Qing and Mongolia, so they must have done the give us ten turns to prepare thing, unless they're attacking somebody else altogether. But yeah, if we see them now attack the Huns, that is going to be interesting, because if the Hunt, Texas and the Iroquois have now declared war on the Sioux, just to make things a little bit more difficult for them, the Sioux should be okay. I mean, Iroquois, the Iroquois army was over here, so they probably thought, yeah, let's use it. Polynesia, peacing out with the Shoshone, and Belgium, peacing out with Austria. I didn't even know they were at war, but that is going to be probably a good thing for both Belgium and Austria that they can now focus Belgium can focus on maybe going after the Moors stopping them getting too strong or maybe something else maybe driving the Celts out of Europe and Austria can then focus maybe on Rome uh, good good choice there Kilwa Kilwa going after Qing no idea why good job India by the way completed Angkor Wat there you go I have no idea where that wonder is, so can't. some of these wonders I just couldn't tell you whether they were in the right place or not. Samoa v Austria, just just what Austria needs right now, a war with the Samoans who have cannons. I think that's the first cannon we've seen, so that's just a good, good sort of, you know, judgment of I think Samoa is probably winning on technology. That's what it can tell me. I, I don't think I can even... I'm not going to show you the info addicts. I don't think I can use the demographics that well because I feel like I might be leading a few of them. Oh no, only approval. Samoa is leading for technology. China is bottom of... Oh yeah, they're dead. Well, they're not dead. They are just a couple of units wandering around the map somewhere. Uh, other wars to break out <laughs> while I wasn't looking. China v. Austria. Not very important. Persia, Austria. Not very important. Korea, Qing. Uh, probably important. A little bit more important than this. Peking and Anqing. But yeah, we might see Korea do something here. That'd be pretty cool if they were to take anything. Would really help them. They got something done. I don't know what is going on. Oh, maybe they're at war with Persia. That might be it. A lot of people are at war with Persia. We can see Assyria and India now trying. And this probably means Persia will die. Because Attila's trying too. So yeah, with India and Assyria's help, there's definitely going to be enough firepower eventually to take the city. Stalin has pieced out with Austria about time and he also pieced out with Burundi because that is important. I haven't really been paying attention to this middle region of Africa. Congo have had a tough time. Rhodesia and the Zulu are waiting too long to take each other out right now. One of them has to come out on top. Burundi are doing okay. Um, ish. Problem is Ethiopia are doing pretty good too and if Ethiopia holds on to all this stuff they're going to be looking really good. So that's not helpful at all. And also Ethiopia is spreading their religion quite a bit. It's Eastern Orthodox. Yep, it looks like it's doing pretty... Actually, it's not really doing that well outside of Ethiopia. I see Judaism here in South Africa or Sub-Saharan Africa. It's kind of hard to explain Africa because Sub-Saharan Africa is like everywhere. But this will... I just call this West Africa. Sub-Saharan can be like below... Can be Congo and down. Burundi obviously start there so it's it's just a mess okay just down there like i say south africa and that means below here but the problem is obviously there isn't obviously this is south africa but yeah just as long as i make myself clear there uh byzantium have had a peaceful video i mean they failed to attack thebes but they're still looking pretty strong here solidified just might be difficulty just m mobility could be the issue for them 
just moving stuff around. But that is going to be it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and to see more stuff and to get notified about it as soon as it comes out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.